Dear audience, Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Khuram Shahzad from National University of Modern Languages, Islamabad. Dear audience, in my last video, I talked about reference, ellipsis, and substitution. In our today's class, I will be talking about discourse and grammar again, and the new concept that I intend to discuss today is lexical cohesion. We should remember that whether it is lexical cohesion or some of the other related ideas like reference, substitution or ellipsis, most of them they are used in discourse. So discourse can be written or a spoken, you know, version of text that we produce. But somehow or the other, we come across different kinds of texts where people, they make use of all these resources. So these resources are used to talk about cohesion and coherence. So the concept of cohesion and coherence, I discussed in my last video, that cohesion is on the page, coherence is in the mind. So let's talk about lexical cohesion today. A text may be spoken or written, prose or verse, dialogue or monologue. It may be anything from a single proverb to a whole play, from a momentary cry for help to an all-day discussion on a committee. A text is a unit of language in use. A text is best regarded as a semantic unit, a unit not of form but of meaning. So basically, in discourse and the kind of grammar that we are discussing, the basic purpose of that grammar is the meaning-making process that how meanings they are encoded in the text and how meaning the person the, who is the reader right now is supposed to read and decode that meaning in the text so that the person should be able to make interpretation, so that the person should be able to give response to that text that he or she is Reading. Cohesion is an aspect of text which entails that the latter forms a unified whole rather than unrelated sentences. So the text is basically a unified whole and now the reader's job is to understand that text to decode the meaning which is residing in the text so that the reader should also be able to make an appropriate interpretation of the text. The concept of cohesion is a semantic one. It refers to relations of meaning that exist within the text and that defines it as a text. Lexical cohesion is achieved through cohesive effect. And of course, that cohesive effect is created through the use of vocabulary. Lexical cohesion is basically created by the general nouns, superordinates, for example, public transport, or repetition or reiteration of the same lexeme or the use of other lexical relations as cohesive patterns. So we have got the general nouns, for example, a small set of nouns having generalized reference within the major noun class classes such as human nouns, place nouns, fact nouns. So we have got humans, we have got man, woman, people, person, boy, girl, child. So this is how, you know, all these nouns, they are related to human beings. So human being is a general concept. And in repetition, we have got, repetition refers to words that are repeated in a text. This includes words which are inferred for tense or number and words which are derived from particular items such as steward, stew, in the following example. Although the form of these two items is slightly different, the author is certain that it will be clear that she is still referring to the same person. So, of course, the author can make use of the same word in the text and the author can bring near synonym or the synonym or the author can make use of antonym and in this way, the author can create cohesive patterns in the text. So sometimes we have got in Urdu language words like Aisha. And instead of Aisha, sometimes the person, 
the author can make use of the word ashi so aisha is reduced into ashi mehmuna is reduced into muna so this is how the job of the reader is to see that what kind of cohesive you know bond these words they are creating how they are cohesive how they are referring back to some of the words which are there in the text or referring forward to some of the other words which are there in the text so job of the reader it is to see such type of links which are there in the text and if you are able to point out these links so you will be able to find out cohesion in the text and why they are called lexical cohesion because through words these semantic semantical relations semantic relations one can understand one can analyze and one can determine the meanings which are there in the text then we have got synonymy synonymy refers to words which are similar in meaning such as date or go out in the above example and blokes and men in the following example so brian paltridge talks about different kinds of smaller texts and he makes use of different kinds of examples and in this way he makes us understand that how synonymy is used in the text let me read this text i am just not one of those blokes that find approaching women easy the book assumes all men are confident or that if they really like a girl they will overcome their shyness the opposite is true so here the word men and in the previous sentence the word blokes it is used so they are synonyms so the author is not making use of the word men again and again in the text so sometimes he is making use of the word men and sometimes blokes and sometimes making use of the antonym so men and we have got women or boy we have got girl so this is how the cohesive tie is created in the text then antonymy antonymy describes opposites or contrastive meanings such as shy and forward in the earlier text and women and men real players and boof heads in the following text andy stern 28 a builder says he is worried the book will drive women towards dodgy men so the word men is made made use of women is made use of then only real players do full on charm real players so it is used for men the rest of us are boof heads so opposite of real players is boof head so this is how in the text you know cohesive ties they are created so the job of the reader is to understand that how the author is generating the text how the meanings they are encoded in the text so the reader is supposed to decode those meanings to analyze the text to understand the text and see that how cohesion is created with the help of different lexical items reiteration is a form of lexical cohesion which involves the repetition of a lexical item at one end of the scale the use of a general word to refer back to a lexical item at the other other end of the scale and a number of things in between the use of a synonym or subordinate so i have just talked about synonym and antonyms and we have also talked about that how through the use of synonym and antonyms reiteration or repetition it is created in the text the other lexical cohesive items are hyponymy and mironymy so in simple words you know hyponymy is general to specific relationship and mironymy is you know whole part relationship so brian paltridge talks about books like self help books so self help books it is a general term and the specific examples that he gives are he is just not that into you so basically these examples are coming from relationships you know uh, people make relationships so for the guidance of those people the books like self help books which is a general term it is used and particular books which are created or written by some of the authors the specific names are he is just not that into you i am okay you are okay 
you can't you can let go now it is okay to be who you are ready or not here life comes so these are the books these are the specific names of the books under the generalized category of self help books then mironomy is explained so couple word couple is whole and its part are jen and steward so husband and wife when they are living together they are having a marital relationship so we can call them couple so this is you know whole part relationship another example can be of a face so in face which is a whole we can have eyes we can have ears we can have nose we can have lips so whole part relationship is created so you when you are reading the text you will have to see that how the author is making use of these lexical items and is creating lexical cohesion so when you become the writer dear audience you should learn all these techniques all these skills and you should also produce the text in the same way by making use of synonyms antonyms hyponymy mironymy and this is how lexical cohesion is created another concept under lexical cohesion that i should talk about today is called collocation collocations though brian poltridge has also talked about lexical bundles lexical bundles are multi word combinations such as as a result of on the other hand if you look at and can be seen that they occur in genres like thesis writing dissertation writing research articles and people make use of these words so they are termed as lexical bundles now collocations collocation describes associations between vocabulary items which have a tendency to co occur they come together words which have tendency to come together such as combination of adjectives and nouns as in real estate agent the right direction in the following example collocation includes the relationship between verbs and nouns such as love and book and waste and time also in the following example it also includes items which typically co occur such as men and women and love and hate so we can have adjective and nouns they are coming together they will collocate and verb and nouns they will also collocate sara hughes 21 a real estate agent agrees that oc men need more help than most when it comes to romance they are useless they need a good push in the right direction so right direction is a collocative combination of words so usually we can say right direction i loved the book and its message about not wasting your time i loved the book so usually love and book they can also collocate and wasting and time we say you should not waste your time so they also usually collocate in the end dear audience today i have talked about lexical cohesion lexical cohesion means that how different kinds of words are used by the author in any piece of text to create cohesion in the text so in lexical cohesion we have talked about synonyms antonyms hyponymy and mironymy and in the end i have talked about collocation that the words that they have tendency to come together thank you very much